Peking man was a kind of ape man who lived in the mountain cave of southwest Beijing 500,000 years ago. They could use fire, but couldn't make fire. They got the kindling from wildfire and had to keep it burning. The picture on the top left is the ashes of their fire, totally six meters in thickness. Talking about the Peking man, I had a sad story, a sad story for all mankind. What's the connection between the Peking man and the American oil tycoon Rockefeller? This is a true story. After the Boxer Movement in 1900, there was a saying in the polite society in the United States. The cause of the Boxer Movement was that the Chinese people were foolish and superstitious. The Americans wanted to help the Chinese people and the society to be more civilized. Before the Boxer Movement, the Americans had already built the Peking Methodist Hospital. It's called the Tongren Hospital in Chinese, which means treat everybody equally. Doctor Hopkins was in charge of the hospital. Today, the Tongren Hospital is still the best eye hospital in Beijing, even in China. In 1919, the British and the American built the Yanqing University. It became today's Peking University. On the other hand, this helps improve the influence of the U.S. in China. In 1921, the Rockefeller Foundation built the Peking Union Medical College in downtown Beijing with 7.5 million U.S. dollars. The PUMC building complex was converted from a mansion of a Manchurian prince. It was the best medical college and hospital in Far East at that time. Even today, it is still the best hospital in Beijing. In 1929, the Rockefeller Foundation also sponsored an archaeological team. They found five cranium fossils of one kind of ape man. The ape man was named the Peking man. They lived in southwest Beijing about 500,000 years ago. That is one of the most important archaeological achievements in 1920s. But in 1937, Japan launched the full-scale invasion in China. Beijing was occupied by the Japanese. The archaeological work stopped. In 1941, the tension in Beijing was escalated. The Japanese were looking for the cranium fossils of the Peking Man. The Kuomintang government of Republic of China decided to transfer the fossils to the United States. They hid the cranium fossils of the Peking Man in the basement of a PUMC. Later, they brought them to the American consulate in Peking. The U.S. Marines convoyed the fossils during the evacuation. Later. The Japanese attacked the Pearl Harbor. The Pacific War started. The U.S. Marines in the consulate of Peking were captured by the Japanese. The five cranium fossils of Peking man were gone. In 1972, when the U.S. President Nixon visited China, he revealed a secret document to Chairman Mao. The cranium fossils of the Peking man might be carried on the Japanese ocean liner Avamaru. But the Avamaru was attacked by the U.S. submarine Queenfish and sank near the Taiwan Strait. The salvage of the Avamaru took place in 1977. No fossils were found. Today, in the National Museum of China, we only can see a replica of the fossil. The Peking man was gone for good, but I will be back. See you next time. Bye bye.